Welcome to Routing and Switching Essentials, Lab 3.2.2.4, Configuring Trunks. So let's go ahead and poke around to see what we can see. I'm going to hop on Switch 1, and I want to view all of the uh, VLANs. So Show VLAN Brief. And those are all of the VLANs that we have. 10, 20, 30. This one has 88 for management and 99 for native. OK. I'm going to hop over to switch 2. I'm going to do the same thing. Show VLAN brief. And 10, 20, 30, 88 and 99 for management and native. That's all good. I'm going to hop over to S3 and do the same thing. OK, I'm going to go ahead and enable. Show VLAN brief. And again, 10, 20, 30, 88, 99. And that is all good. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and verify some connectivity. PC1 and 4 in the same VLAN. Let's see if we can ping one another. So I'm going to go to the command prompt. I'm going to try to ping PC4. 172.17.10.24. We are getting no response. And why is that? Uh, the VLANs are all appropriate. However, the connections between S1 and S2 are not trunks. Same thing between S1 and S3, they are not trunks. So we need to set up our trunk ports. So I'm going to do this from switch one first. I'm going to log into my global configuration mode. And I want to set up both interfaces to be trunks. So interface range gi 0 slash 1 and 2. Now I want to set both of these ports up at the same time. Switch port mode trunk. Oh, switch port mode trunk. And that should turn them down and then turn them up. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to see if PC1 can ping PC4. I'm going to wait till they all go green. Okay, so it does look like they are working pretty good. However, we set up just our switch port. We never change the native VLAN. So I'm going to go back to switch one. I'm, gonna, I'm making sure that I'm still in the same range. I'm going to change my switch port trunk. I'm going to do a question mark. We can filter our VLANs or we can change the native VLAN. I want everything to be on the native VLAN 99. Native VLAN 99. That way all native traffic will go to VLAN 99. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try pinging from PC1 to 4, again just to make sure. And we can. I'm going to go ahead and set up the native VLAN on the other switches because you will notice that we will start getting blocking uh, information because of a VLAN mismatch. 
this uh, native VLAN on switch 2 is still on VLAN 1. So we need to change that back to or change it to VLAN 99. So interface we're doing GI 0 slash 1 switch port mode I'm oh, sorry switch port trunk native VLAN 99 that way our port is now going to show consistent again because before switch 2 was on VLAN 1 and switch 1 was on VLAN 99 they need to be consistent so we're now hop over to S3 I'm going to do the same thing because we should get invalid mismatch uh, VLANs so let's hop over to our config mode navigate to our interface and switch port trunk native VLAN 99 and that's actually it that way we have same consistent information I'm going to do a show VLAN brief just to make sure 99 is my native VLAN 1 or 10, 20, and 30 on the appropriate networks it is still showing a mismatch oh that's because on this one I did GI or G 0 slash 1 I did not do the appropriate interface GI 0 slash 2 switch port trunk native VLAN 99 there we go consistency is now restored I did that G0 as 1 not 2 And so just to make sure, let's go and do a few more show commands. Let's go and do show interface GI 0 slash 2 switch port. That will show the name of our port. The switch port is enabled, the administrative mode. The operational mode, the trunking encapsulation type, the native VLAN, and all of that good information. That's actually all for this lab, so I wanted to thank you and hope you have a great day.